Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Frilici Friday. And it's kind of funny because it's um, kind of dreary and I just came out of that door behind us and it's like, okay, it's actually kind of bright right now. Like the, I don't know, the sun came out or like it got, it just got brighter for Facebook Live, I guess, because we're doing Facebook Live, right? It always makes, always makes my day brighter and hopefully it makes your day brighter as well. So we are going to play with some beautiful, okay, let me show you. This is the favored flowers designer series paper and this is one that has had to grow on me a little bit i will uh say that hi Teresa. hello welcome so you can see because it's a little bit florally busy for my taste but when you use just one of the pieces like don't look at them all together that's probably not even the right way to show that you use one of these pieces i'll show you we actually did make and takes at our team meeting this week using this paper and they're gorgeous and then check out the back side which actually might be my favorite part really truly about this designer series paper you will see i actually um for next month hello miss vina for my demo design dream team pdf tutorial i actually used this piece of designer series paper for a masculine card. I think any of these three are great for masculine cards. These are a little bit more light and feminine, right? But you can see kind of the, the cool pattern in the paper. Anna, hello, welcome. So anyway, like I said, Bonnie, hello. Thank you for sharing the video too. So we are gonna play with this designer series paper and I think that I will help you fall in love with it if you have not done so already. Some people love it. Don't, I'm not trying to offend you um, if that's kind of your thing, but it just wasn't, you know, how different things for different strokes for different folks, right? So anyway, yeah, so Favorite Flowers Designer Series paper. And then also, interestingly enough, I paired it with the Thanks a Bunch stamp set. And you'll see that, you'll see how I actually use this Designer Series paper. Actually the back side, so the more, not the florally patterns, but the other sides. Happy Friday to you too, Miss Janina, and hello, Sharon. So yeah, we will have some fun with this stamp set. Hi, Susie. So great sentiments in here, like there's a look at you, exclamation point. Um, it looks like spring, exclamation point. Love to be able to say that. It's going to be a while around here though. Hey there. <clears throat> There's no one quite like you. Uh, this is kind of fun. We've got love you a bunch or thanks a bunch, right? And then everything's coming up carrots, which I don't know. Why would everything's coming up roses or carrots? I'm not sure <laughs> what to say about that. And then um, just some really uh, just fun kind of carrot imagery, right? I think that kind of, does it kind of look like parsley? I don't know. I'm not even really sure what parsley, I, I, I know what parsley looks like actually. So anyway, yes, but we're going to have lots of fun today. I'm like bouncing off the walls as usual, I think, because it's been a couple weeks since we've done a Facebook Live and I have so much to share with you guys. <laughs> okay, let's see. So Anna says the carrots set was not one I was really interested in. Yeah, but you've seen so many cute ideas. It's kind of growing on you. Well, I hope to be able to help that um, uh, stamp set continue to grow on you today while we play with it on Facebook Live. And I've got some swap cards too. I actually... Um, <clears throat> So there's something called uh, a Stampin' Up! A Trip Achievers Facebook group that I'm a part of. And so I always like love to do the swaps because they are the best swaps I've ever received. So anyway, I've got some fun swap cards to share with you guys. I'm going to show um, all of my swaps featuring Celebration product today on Facebook Live. We'll do that later when I flip the camera down so you can actually see them, you know, the correct way. So, okay, let's see. Um, oh, why don't I show you? So kind of speaking of swap cards, um, these swap cards came in super handy for me. I had um, the new catalog kickoff celebration event last Saturday, and we made these four cards at that um, event. So I want to share these with you guys. These are going to be backwards, and they're kind of in there. Um, when we send swaps, do we always put them in the clear envelope? So this one is a swap by Renee I think it's, let me make sure. Yeah, Con Conky, I think is how you say her name. And so this features some of the, um, is it, I don't know, the farm DSP that is part of Celebration. I loved that um, kind of red plaid. That's another one that would be great for masculine cards. I think I'm like kind of on that, 
path right now, like with that mindset, because I don't have very many masculine cards. So this winter is my plan to like make a bunch of masculine cards so I have them on hand for those guys in our lives, right? When we need kind of a simple masculine card. And then this is kind of fun, just the little veggie paper too, right? And then it just says, thanks a bunch. And I thought, okay, it's like a kind of bunches of veggies, right? So thanks a bunch. So we made that card. Then we also made this one. <laughs> Hi, Lori. You will recognize all of these cards too. Lori made this these with us um, last week as well. So this is a swap card from Rumi Radomsky. And she featured some of um, and I'm gonna, I'm testing my brain. You know, these new catalogs come out like so fast and furious, it's hard to remember the names of everything. Pretty sure this is the Dandy Designs. I'm gonna have to, we're, we're gonna have to look because that's gonna kind of drive me crazy if I don't tell you guys the right stuff. <clears throat> okay, hold on. So Day at the Farm. This one was, this one featured Day at the Farm designer series paper. Then we have... Yeah, Beautifully Happy, that was the other one I was trying to make sure. So the stamp set is Beautifully Happy. That, actually that stamp set is free with a $100 order and then that is the Dandy Designs Designer Series paper, also free with a $100 order during celebration. The Day at the Farm Designer Series paper is free with a $50 order during celebration. And then we also made, okay, check this one out. This is a super cute carrot card, right? This one is from Anast Anastasia Radloff. Uh, and this one I loved also. So she featured the Dandy Designs Designer Series paper and then the Thanks a Bunch stamp set with the Thanks a Bunch sentiment. And I love how she, I never do that, but I think that's super cute, how she used some linen thread and then one of the um, twines, I think that is Calypso Coral twine from the Twine Combo Pack. Oh, thank you for sharing, Janina. I truly appreciate that. And hello to Deborah and Sandy if they pop on here. So thank you. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, this was one of the other cards we made last weekend. And then I'm going to show you. So this is the swap that I received from Alejandra Gomez. But I thought the colors were too much like this one because they are right they're very similar again more dandy designs designer series paper and then that is actually a stamp out of the uh, new mini catalog hello charlene so instead of doing those colors i changed it up and we did these colors instead so exact same card layout oh and this yes alejandra 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 gomez designed this swap card but then i turned it into with these colors right here. And I love that sentiment too, this grateful for the everyday magic of you. And that's part of that something fancy stamp set that is uh, featured on my class to go that I'll share with you guys in just a little bit too. So beautiful swap cards, right? Am I like, I'm not kidding, right? When I say I get amazing swap cards every time I do one of these swaps. So they totally saved me. It was like, oh, okay, well, we're just gonna make all of these cards. Like I couldn't decide. I had so many great ideas. So now I've got some more for next month too. So um, we use those at card class also. So yeah, okay. And then um, I actually, so I think some people still have my old mailing address, which was my stamp studio that I closed. I can't even believe, like I haven't been there for over two years now how time flies right but anyway i um not too long ago got a couple more christmas cards i guess it was early january but after i did the last facebook live so i wanted to share these christmas cards with you because they got sent to the address um and i know the gal that owns the building so it's still safe if things go there she hangs on to them and like lets me know and i pop over there and grab my mail so every once in a while i still get things but this was a super cute card from this one was from monica talbot and she used, I think that was that spruced up bundle that's so, so cute. And I love how she featured a bunch of the in colors on her card too. So isn't that super cute with the Merry Christmas? And oh yeah, I love how she did the inside too. I'm gonna have to remember that. Super duper cute how she um, decorated the inside of that card. I'm like, oh, I really, I gotta remember that. That is such a cute idea. Thank you for all you do, Monica, says from Monica. May your Christmas be happy. So cute. Okay, so like seriously, I have to like have to go. I'm such a visual person, I forget. So I'm like, I'm gonna have to go put that on my card table so I remember. Decorate the inside of the card like that because that was such a good idea. And then I had one more Christmas card and this one came, oh, from Maria Warren who is one of my Inspired Stampers team members. And this is a beautiful Christmas card as well, right? This one says, a joyful Christmas to you and yours. And it features some of the gold ribbon that I believe 
This, is this the one that carried over? I'm trying to remember. One of the gold ribbons carried over. Um, and then that, some of our designer series paper that did, it was Painted Christmas that carried over from last holiday catalog to this one, but it's gone now. But it's just beautiful, isn't it? And then on the inside, she says, May the beauty of the season bring you joy and warm memories to cherish throughout the year. Merry Christmas, Maria. And she just put that little strip of designer series paper on the inside there. So had to share with those, share those with you guys because I always, like I said, I truly appreciate um, receiving your um, handmade cards, especially at Christmas time, but anytime too. So, um, okay, what is next? I'm like bouncing along. We got so much good stuff to show you. I think, oh, quick reminder. Oh, I put it way over here. Hold on, I'm gonna grab. So. I have a couple of paper shares I over ordered and I've already cut and they're all ready to go. So if you are interested, I have a, um, a couple, like I said, a couple of paper shares. So, I mean, look at seriously, all of this paper, it's $50. So it's, it's a hefty price, but look at all of this designer series paper that you got. So some six by six paper and then a bunch of six by 12. Basically this is a quarter of a pack of every single pack of paper in the mini catalog in in the celebration brochure and the host designer series paper as well you get a little free sample of that so i threw in free samples of all the celebration paper and the host designer series paper so 50 dollars gets you a paper share i have the link right on here um, above the Facebook live video after I get it uploaded this afternoon. Um, it's also on my blog. You can email me. I've been emailing about it as well. So if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to get one of these paper shares to you. Okay. So let me know. Let me know. All right. I'm like throwing stuff away. <laughs> I moved my chairs. I don't know why I moved those, but anyway, so they're like way over there. Um, you guys don't care about that though, do you? All right. I just keep like walking away and coming back. I guess is my point in that. Okay, so let's see, we did that, we did that, we did that. Okay, so we're gonna do our first drawing, okay? These are the awesome, I love, 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 love these. Hi, Lisa, hello, welcome. These are the uh, pastel adhesive backed sequins. Have I finally learned the colors? I think it's balmy blue, petal pink, and gold. I think that's what I'm gonna say those are. So beautiful, this is what we are drawing for if you shared the last Facebook Live video that we did. Anytime, any share gets your name in the drawing. If you, so that's the one way, if you sign up for my email list, uh, again, the link is above this Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded, and it's also on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, and then the third way is if you share my class to go kit post. So those are the three ways you get your name right in the little basket right here. We are gonna shake these around and we will draw one lucky winner of the pastel sequins. They're so pretty. I love any of these sequins that have the little glue dot on the back, so easy to work with. I don't wanna put glue dots on the back of mine or use combo or any of that stuff. I, <laughs> I'm too, I guess I'm, I'm not lazy, I'm really not, but that's just not something I like to do. So, okay. The lucky winner is, ah, Miss Deb Northrup. Congratulations, Deb. All right, I will have the pastel sequins out on the porch for you to pick up anytime. Okie dokie, oh, let's dump these out. So we're ready for the next drawing. So my puppy Storm, he's been worrying because um, he saw me like running around like doing my hair and makeup and that usually means I'm leaving and going to the office. So he's been like, like watching me very closely. Like, is she gonna slip out? Is she gonna leave me here all by, by myself? So um, now he's like, wait a minute, she's standing there talking to her phone now and she hasn't left. So I think he's still worrying, but anyway, you know, those puppies, they worry so much, don't they? Or at least Storm does, I don't know. He doesn't like to be alone, right? And I don't like to leave him alone. So he's a good snuggler too. Okay. <clears throat> So next up we have, this is what we're going to give away on our next Facebook Live, which is going to be two weeks from today, which I think makes it February 3rd, I think is what I figured out. So not, not next Friday, but the following Friday, next Facebook Live, we will give away the opaque adhesive backed gems, I think is what these are called. Yes, the opaque adhesive backed gems. So we have white, fresh freesia, I think this is melon mambo, and gorgeous grape. So these are kind of part of the, kind of the Valentine suite, but they, we actually used them on our make and takes at the meeting too. So you can definitely use them um, even with the favorite.
favored flowers designer series paper they worked really well with those too so you'll see that in just a little bit but again share this facebook live video share my class to go kit posts you'll see those right here on our facebook group and then sign up for my email list and your name will be in the drawing on our next facebook live for those beautiful opaque gems okay um let's see let's see what do we want to show next? Oh, actually, I want to give a huge congratulations to Elsie Lynch. She is one of our team members, one of our Inkspired Stamper team members who just promoted to Bronze Elite, which means she bought the starter kit not too long ago, actually. Um, but she, I'm sorry, I'm getting a text and I'm like trying to read it and talk and that's really not a good idea. I can't, I'm not a good multitasker. One thing at a time and I'm really efficient, but more than one and it doesn't work very well. Okay, so yeah, so back to, sorry, the text like flipped away. So that's good. Uh, so yes, um, so Elsie, yes, yeah, so Elsie promoted to Bronze Elite, which means she got to $1,800 in rolling 12 month sales. Like I said, she didn't buy the starter kit too long ago either. So she's kicking some butt making lots of sales, uh, probably getting a few things for herself as well, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so now she's promoted to Bronze Elite. She actually gets a $50 shopping spree from me. That's like my personal congratulations to her. I love to give my team members, um, and I don't have one on right now, but they're beautiful charm necklaces with charms inside. So she got a charm necklace with three charms inside because she got one when she got to qualified team member and then two more charms when she promoted to Bronze Elite, and we keep adding to the charm necklace as you continue promoting. Then let's see what else. Oh, well then the best part actually, through Stampin' Up, she now gets a 25% discount on everything that she orders or earns 25% commission or income on anything that she sells. And because she did it within her first full six months of buying the starter kit, she actually achieved what we call quick start, which means she gets a $100 product credit from Stampin' Up! too. So look at all the goodies that you can get. If you buy the starter kit, share your love of stamping, sell some products, uh, you get your 20% income on anything that you sell. And then if you do it within your first full six months, you get $100 in free product from Stampin' Up! Uh, actually, there's a, a first quick start level, which Elsie also achieved, which was back at $900 in sales, became a qualified team member. If you do that in your first full three months, you get a $50 product credit. So overall, she's getting $150 in free stuff from Stampin' Up! too. So woo, 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 go Elsie. She's doing a great job. So she's been a fun new team member too. She's coming to our team meetings and participating and I think just having a blast. So if you are interested in the starter kit, make sure you check out that deal. Uh, the link is right here above my Facebook Live video. I've been emailing and posting right here in our Facebook group about it. But remember, you can and pick so there are three different options pick $175 in product and pay only $99 plus sales packs or pick $175 in product and either the classic white or the boho blue the new mini cut and emboss machine either one of those and you pay $129 plus sales tax plus then you get a 20% discount on everything you order after that and you become one of our team members an inspired stamper team member and I'll show you all the fun that we have uh, at our team meetings um, let's do that right now actually so here we go. We have, these are the make and takes that we made at our team meeting. That was just, so our team meetings are always the third Tuesday of every month. We have a separate Facebook group for our team meetings. We do a Facebook live at the team meeting. We do it live and for anyone that's local that can like physically come to the meeting. So we include everybody in the team meeting basically. So, um, and actually these make and takes, I put them well, all the parts and pieces together for you. Hi, Shelia, how are you? It's great to see you on Facebook Live. Um, but I put the make and takes together and either you can make them that night with us at the team meeting um, or I can mail them to you also. So you can still participate even if you're not local. Long distance people are more than welcome to become a part of our group. And we have a great group of ladies that all really do get to know each other, especially um, when you're participating on our Facebook group and on our Facebook Lives. So, okay, with that being said, this is our first card and this is kind of an easel card. So I'm gonna show you like this. And again, this features that favored flowers designer series paper. So you can see the card starts like this basically is how you would open it 
up and then it opens like that, but you can also, and it'll sit just like that, it kind of catches. So it says, thank you. And then this one says, grateful for the everyday magic of you on there as well. And you can see um, those gems that we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live for sharing this video. We use those on that card also. So here's another one. These are all kind of fun fold. And this one, it doesn't actually open. Like normally this piece comes all the way open, but this one's kind of holding it um, closed a little bit. So it kind of goes just like that. And we've got, so this one says, I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. Happy birthday. So more of that favored flowers designer series paper. There's this kind of a fun, I don't know the names of any of these folds, but there's this one. You can kind of get the idea right there, right? So this one says, nothing fancy, just love. And then we actually put um, paper on the back there so you could write on it, but it'll fold up like that. And then when you open it up, and this one would even stand up too. And then lastly, we have this little baby right here. It's another kind of an interesting easel card, right? So you could, we could have put white paper on the inside of that. Instead, I put it on the back there. So either way, I think <clears throat> mainly because I didn't want any of the white peeking out from behind there, but this one will stand up also. And it says, may the good you two do come back to you and congratulations. And there are more of, you can see those little dots. Um, again, what are they called? The opaque adhesive backed gems. We use those on all of those cards also. So those were our make and takes. So every month we do four make and takes. And like I said, I can mail those to you if you buy the starter kit through us and you want those make and takes, you get those every single month. Um, then we also do swapping at our team meetings. So let me show you another fun. How about this one? This one is Susie Meekumber who's watching right now. Um, she made this cute card with that thanks a bunch stamp set. And I love, because everybody's using kind of the oranges, but I love that she used that um, Fresh Freesia DSP on there also and some of that cute twine, right? This one was from Jenny Boffman and the little kitty cats. Everyone's enjoying these kitty cats too. Um, I love hanging out with you is what that one says with the little hearts over the kitty cat. Then this one was from Sunday Ostrander and uh, she featured some of our in color. She did these in all the different in colors and so she used, well, the designer series paper too with all of the in colors. And then here's a fun one. I think this was Beth Martin did the little owl card and she says, hoot hoot, you're so cute. And I love how she kind of colored everything in there too. She loves, she's a good, like very artistic, does lots of great coloring, way more than I am capable of doing. Um, this one is from Elsie. So Elsie that just promoted to Bronze Elite, she made this super cool card. And I think I just got that stamp set. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to, try something like this also. And then she's got the so much thanks. So cute, huh? With that paper that kind of looks like um, the lighthouse is right out in the water with the beautiful sun beaming. We could definitely, it got dark around here again too. So it was light for, it was, it was bright. I wouldn't say it was, well, it was brighter, I guess is what I'll say. Uh, this one is from Charlene Mogg, who's also on Facebook Live right now too. This features that Dandy Designs designer series paper with those cute little flowers. Isn't that so sweet? And she just says, thank you on that one. I'm trying to see. Oh, I thought maybe she had embossed it. It was like showing like maybe she had embossed it. Okay, I think that is it. I have one more to show you, but it's actually inspiration for a card we're going to make on Facebook Live. So I'll share, you with that, share that with you in just a few minutes. <laughs> yes, you're right. It has been a very gloomy month in Michigan with no snow. Yeah, the rain's fairly ugly. That's why we like to play with all this cute stuff, right? Because say, for example, this little buddy, doesn't he just make you smile? So don't even look outside. Just get in your craft room and play with all your pretty stuff and wash away your winter blues. You can do that. I truly, truly believe that. I think that's what kind of helps keep me going through the long winters around here is playing with all this cute stuff. So for example, this is actually, we do something called a mystery project at our team meetings. The idea is I'll post all of the dimensions without actually showing a picture. I'll say, you know, you need a designer series paper piece this size, this one, you need white cardstock, colored cardstock, how to cut everything, and then you assemble it as we go while I make, and I'll always show. So once we're at the team meeting, I'll say, here's the mystery solved. This is the mystery project that we're making tonight. And then you grab all your parts and pieces that you brought to the meeting, or as you're watching on Facebook Live, and we put these cards together 
um, step by step. So I show you exactly how to put the card together. And this is like a little corner tuck fold. So isn't that cute? So that little guy just tucks, kind of opens and closes, and then it just kind of tucks right inside there. So super cute, right? So again, no gloomy, gloomy worries for us, right? When we're playing with all these cute products. Okay, here we go. I'm going to scoot all of this stuff out of the way. So lots of fun reasons to buy that starter kit. You get to like, look at all these cute cards you could come home with from a team meeting. Oh, swapping. Actually, I should mention that also. Um, if you're long distance, you can still make swap cards, mail them to me. I swap them out with everybody. Okay, Storm, at the team meeting, and then I mail them back to you. So you can still participate in a swap as well. Storm, I don't think there's anybody here. Yeah, he gets overly excited sometimes. Okay, all right, just getting that out of the way. There's nobody here, bud. There's nobody here. Okay, what's next? What's next? We talked about some of that stuff, right? Okay, so just a quick reminder that I have something called the Celebration Celebration Event. It's basically a thank you for uh, ordering and uh, lots of other things during celebration, right? So it's a fun event that I hold after celebration is over. You earn your spot at this event by either hosting a private celebration party or class. We can do that at the church where I hold my classes. Uh, dates are still available for February, so if you're interested, let me know. That's one way you can earn your spot in the celebration celebration. If you buy the starter kit through me, you earn your spot in the celebration celebration. And the third way is if you spend at least $150 during January and February, you earn your spot at the celebration celebration event. If you cannot attend or if you're long distance and it would be, you know, too far for you to drive to, you know, come to the event, I put everything together for you. Um, and I actually do, um, let's see, what, what all do I do? I have, well, here, here, I'll just read this because I'm trying to remember. <laughs> It's been a little while since I did one, but here's the idea, right? Come to a very a special event where I will spoil you with snacks and treats. I can't really send those, although I usually make some kind of a little gift and put a little cute little treat in there. So you can still get a snack that way. We have specials. We do buy one, get one free. I, I'm i trying to hold it so that we can do a sneak peek of new annual catalog stuff. We'll have to kind of figure that out. Celebration used to run through March, and so it was a little bit easier for me to do that, but hopefully we can still have sneak peeks of new catalog stuff. We do stand and make and takes, gifts, games, prizes, and more. So anything that I can put together and mail to you, I will do that as a congratulations for earning your spot at the Celebration Celebration event if you cannot attend. Again, the link and emails are um, on Facebook, on our group right here if you need more info on the Celebration Celebration. And then lastly, just a quick reminder, uh, Club Member Drive going on right now. If you're interested in the Simple Beautiful Card Club, the Scrapbook Club, or the Class to Go Kit Club, if you sign up for either of those clubs, you get to pick a free celebration item just for signing up for those clubs. Again, more details uh, being emailed and posted right here in our Facebook group. Okay, um, I think, yeah, we already talked about the starter kit. Okay, I think we're actually doing pretty well here. So if you're new to Facebook Live, I wanna make sure that you guys know if you put an online order in through me using the host code that I always give you, again, it's also right here on my Facebook group, hello, Miss Danielle, you get, uh, for sure, order at least $50 through me using that host code, and you automatically get these, in this case, if you ordered in the last two weeks, these two super cute cards that I made on our last Facebook Live. So you definitely get, for sure, these two cards as a thank you from me, right? You also get to pick from the free embellishment for January, which are these beautiful opaque gems. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, Vita, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the cards. So you get to pick from the free embellishment or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial for January, which also features more. Look at, I've been, I've been like having fun with the fun folds, right? So this is my project that is in the January PDF tutorial. There are 16 other projects, including this one. Hey, Nikki, how are you? Um, that you can get free with your $50 order. So again, pick from either the free embellishment or the 16 project PDF tutorial. You automatically get both of these cards as a thank you from me. 
And right now, your name is in the drawing to win a Share a Milkshake stamp set. That's again, if you ordered online through me using the host code uh, since our last Facebook Live. Okay, so we're gonna toss these names around and we will draw one lucky winner for this Share a Milkshake stamp set. And the winner is Miss Fran Wright. All right, congratulations, Fran. I will get that stamp set mailed out to you. And thank you, all of you, thank you so much for your online orders. People have been taking advantage of Celebration too, which is awesome. Actually, I should say too, if you bump your order up to $100, in addition to those two cards that I download on Facebook Live, I send you five additional cards as a thank you as well. So congratulations, Fran. Again, I will get that stamp set sent out to you. Okay. You guys wanna know what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live? Okay, let me just scoot these things. Here we go. Mm, actually, I need that right there. Okay, so it's on order. I don't have it yet, but I will by the time we do our next Facebook Live. I'm going to give away because I just think this is such a cute stamp set. So it's called the Best Day Stamp Set. And there's just something about, it's like a chubby kitty cat or something. I don't know, out of a cupcake, which I love cupcakes. So maybe that's why. And I love birthday cakes too. Cake, love, love sweets. Definitely have a huge sweet tooth. I wish... I didn't. I know some people like crave the salty. Not me. I don't need potato chips or tortilla chips or any of that stuff. Like I need sweets. I definitely need sweets more. So it's bad. It's very bad, guys. Okay, so we've got sentiments. Happy birthday. It's the best day because it's your birthday. That's so cute. Wishing you all the wishes. I love that too. It's all about you. And then there's a little happy birthday on there too. I am um, like dying to get this stamp set. I think I gave it away um, at our team meeting recently. I'm giving it away on Facebook Live. I keep buying them and then I'm like, I'm gonna give it away. So this next one, I think I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna order one more and I'm gonna actually keep it. So maybe this will end up on Facebook Live, but you can see um, some cute little projects that they show featuring that best day stamp set. Again, you get your name entered into the drawing to win that stamp set if you order through me and use the host code. Okay. So here we go, we are, let me give you, I'm gonna get the host code set up right here. Okay, turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. We're gonna flip the camera down, okay. And we will do our stamping. Okay, looks like it's leaning a little bit. We're gonna try that there. Okay, let's see here, ladies. What you doing, Storm? There we go. Okay, so this is our host code for January, the MBCCVBM2. That's what you're going to want to use when you order online through me to get all these awesome Facebook Live freebies. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I have one more thing to show you guys. How about those dies? Can you see all of those? So this is the called the Something Fancy Class To Go. So featuring the Something Fancy stamp set, awesome sentiments, I've used this one, right? Grateful for the everyday magic of you. You matter to so many with deepest sympathy. I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. May the good you do come back to you. Nothing fancy, just love. So you can see this was actually used on our make and takes too. I've been using this a lot lately. There's a happy birthday, congratulations, thank you. Here's to beautiful beginnings and happily ever afters. Perfect for a wedding card, right? Oh my gosh, so great sentiments, awesome sentiments in that stamp set. Awesome set of dies here too. I don't know, can you see them if I turn them that way? These cute little labels that actually cut out some fun little ditties at the top of them. You could put, you could probably, you could do something maybe like, that on there too if you like and then a bunch of great labels love 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 the label dies right okay so awesome set of label dies we also in this class to go are featuring the adhesive backed milky dots this is what i have left in my pack i think we finally figured out there is there are white petal pink night of navy and these are mango melody so those are the milky dots and then also we are featuring this featuring the Knight of Navy bordered ribbon. I love that ribbon. This Any blue, any shade of blue, totally, totally love it. And then, of course, we are featuring, featuring I think this, is this the Dainty Designs? I don't know. This, the names are all pretty similar, but this is some of the Celebration Designer Series paper. You get a quarter of a pack of that paper that we use on the cards, okay? So let me show you the cards, right? We have, I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. You matter to so many. 
We've got this one, Grateful for the Everyday Magic of You. Happy birthday. All these fun folds, right? May the good you do come back to you. Thank you. And then lastly, here's to beautiful beginnings and happily ever after, afters. Congratulations. Dainty flowers. Maybe, I don't know if that's what I said or not, but hopefully. Okay, this is the Dainty Flower Designer Series paper. Thank you, Anna. Okay, so let me tell you about the options that are available, right? We've got option number one, stamp set, dies, quarter pack of the paper, full pack of the dots, full bolt of the ribbon, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. So that's eight cards all together. Plus you get to pick a free celebration choice uh, and the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put everything together. Option number one is $85. This right here alone is a $45.75 value. That's just the product plus tax and shipping. So great value on this class to go. If you already have the stamp set and dies, remember you have to have the stamp set and dies to do your own stamping and die cutting. You would get option number two with the dots, the ribbon, the quarter pack of DSP, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, plus the PDF tutorial. That option number two is $35. Uh, let's see, option number three, PDF tutorial just tells you how to put all of these cards together. It's $15, free to anybody in my Inkspired Stampers group. Option number four is also for my team members. My Inkspired Stampers can get the make and take, all the parts and pieces for just $15. Um, for this class to go. They will get the stamp set and the dies to do their own stamping and die cutting on their own. I can't do any stamping for you, um, but I'll send you all the parts and pieces if you're one of my team members in any level. Um, you get those uh, make and takes for $15. RSVPs are due by next Friday, January 27th, and the kits will ship out no later than February 8th. Okay? Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And I'm missing, let's see, I have to see. Um, so Nancy Krause, hello and good morning. Oh, Lavina, I'm glad you like those cards and the paper. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, yep, I think I'm good. Okay, I was just like scrolling back to make sure I didn't miss anybody else. Okay, so yeah, again, let me know if you are interested in that class to go. Such cute stuff. Okay. I think, oh, okay, so I'm gonna show you my swaps and then we're actually gonna do our stamping, okay? So let's bring this one in and I'll actually, in our catalog here too. So Adorable Owls, that's what this card features. And then also the Dandy Designs Designer Series paper and the new Cane Weave Embossing Folder. So many good things on here. And then some of the Pale Papaya Ribbon. And I love how she flipped that corner up like that. Right, and then there's the cute little owl. So this one is from Dem, Deb Snyder. Beautiful swap, right? Okay, next, ooh, we have another, another super cute little owl card. If you didn't think you liked the owls, I love owls anyway. I have a number of like owl thingies around my house. I just think they're very interesting animals, right? Okay, so this one is super cute though too. So again, she used the Dandy Designs Designer Series paper which is this guy right back here, that huge pack of paper, 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper, free with a $100 order. And then the owl stamp set, free with a $50 order. Okay, oh, this one is from uh, Laura Borchette. Super cute, so many cute. Okay, nope, that is not a celebration, is it? This one also features some of that designer series paper, The Dainty Flowers. Isn't that beautiful? So actually all of these are this one, this one, this one, and this one. Isn't that cute? There's actually no stamping on here, which I didn't even really notice. Hi, Diana, welcome. Um, but so cute, right? So this one is from Karen Titus. Beautiful, she used some of our label dies there too. So you could definitely put any kind of a sentiment on there that you would like. Then we're gonna flip back here to Beautifully Happy. So this one was one of the stamps that we used at my um, uh, event last Saturday for the celebration kickoff event. So the Beautifully Happy stamp set free with a $100 order, excuse me. The super cool thing about this stamp set is you think you're gonna have to do a lot of coloring, but you don't, you just stamp all of those images in. So you kind of stamp the outlines and then you stamp all the images in. Makes it look like you colored it, but you didn't, right? So there's one example from Kay Cogbill. Beautiful, huh? Right? And then here's another one right here. And this one has the for a very happy birthday, which is one of the sentiments in the beautifully happy stamp set. And I love how she, oh, that's in here too, isn't it? Yes, it is. That little watermark. I always love those little watermark stamps. Can you guys see that on there? So that's the time-worn type embossing folder. This one is from Monica Jiberk. 
Giberti, I think is how you say her name. I should just like say them and not even stumble. Like I know <laughs> how to pronounce all these names, right? And then lastly, this is a super cute bunny one, but it also features that Dandy Designs designer series paper free with a $100 order. Hello, Miss Deb, how are you? So this bunny is actually a punch. I think I'm gonna have to get that punch because it's so cute, right? Uh, thank you for sharing the video too. So yeah, so those were some of the swaps. I'm gonna show you actually a few more. They featured the Thanks a Bunch stamp set, which is that one that we are going to use next on our Facebook Live card. So this one stamp set, free with the $50 order, the Thanks a Bunch stamp set. And then we have the, hold on, it's on this page right here and I just can't seem to flip, the Favored Flowers Designer Series Paper, free with a $50 order. Those are the two things we're gonna show right now on Facebook Live. Okay. All right, so, okay. So you're gonna recognize, because I'm having, well, I guess I shouldn't even say I'm having, I've always had a hard time coming up with card layouts. So basically I love casing projects that I've done. So you may recognize this layout right here as one of our cards that we made um, in terms of a layout in our make and takes um, at our meeting, right? So but this one features the Thanks a Bunch stamp set and that favored flowers designer series paper so you can see it's a little kind of an easel card and so we got the cute little carrots right there and then the thanks a bunch so it would come in the mail like this and then it would open like that and then you can write on the inside too okay so let's get started making this guy oh and actually before i do that <clears throat> let me also show you so these are other uh, swap cards that I received featuring the Thanks a Bunch stamp set. So isn't this one cute? She actually die cut and then fussy cut all of those little carrots out, right? But she says, hello, spring. And this one is from Janet Holmes. Then we've got this one, this love you. Oops, I'm look too busy looking at it, so it's not even in your view, but it was in my view. <laughs> With the Dandy Designs Designer Series paper, some of the deckled rectangle dies right there. This is from Ruth Bingle. And then lastly, one more, it looks like spring with more of the Dandy Designs Designer Series paper there and there. Can you guys see that other one? It's kind of a lighter pattern, that petal pink. So cute though, right? And a little bit of embossing on that strip. It's almost like it's ribbon, but it's just a piece of cardstock. That, that's such a great idea. Cardstock cut and embossed looks like a little strip of ribbon, right? And this one is from Sarah Schuler. So beautiful swaps can't keep can't stop talking about how great these swaps are okay let me find let me get my grid paper good it was it was buried but not too bad so I could find it again all right we're gonna get everything in view here so I make sure okay I think we are good to go oopsie I'm going to pull everything out so I know what I'm doing. Ooh, the, we've got some stamping to do here. Look at all these. You guys maybe can't see, but I'm putting lots of stamps out here. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so let me tell you about dimensions first, okay? So we have petal pink cardstock. You can write this info down right now if you're interested in making this card or check out my blog later today at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. All of the details, all of the colors, uh, dimensions, product codes, everything that you need to order and make these projects will be on my blog this afternoon. Okay, petal pink cardstock, eight and a half by 11. We are gonna cut it at four and a quarter inches, and then we're gonna score it at two and three quarter and five and a half inches, okay? So that goes like that, right? Uh, yep, and then this is gonna go like that, okay? I'm like, wait a minute, that's not gonna work, but it is because we're gonna add that piece of Calypso Coral cardstock that measures, we'll go this way, it is three and three quarters by five, so that's gonna fit, that's gonna go like that right on there, okay? Then we have our piece of designer series paper that layers on top of that at three and a half by four and three quarters. That's gonna go right there. And then we've got our, hmm, here it is, this strip right here of designer series paper, three and a half by one and a half. That's gonna go right there. On the inside then, we have our basic white right there. 
that measures four by five and a quarter, and then that strip of designer series paper that measures four by one and a half, okay? And then we've got some other pieces to do our stamping and die cutting. So we are, let's see, I'm actually gonna die cut. Usually I stamp first and then die cut, but this one I wanna make sure that I get my carrots on my little label piece, and I wanna make sure that I do a good job stamping on this one, so I'm gonna actually stamp after I die cut both of those. So let's do that now. What have I got? Okay. I felt something hit my foot. I'm like, oh, uh-oh. Can't be losing things. Okay, so we're going to scoot those over there. Scoot that one up there. And we are using, so these are the scalloped contours dies. Love, love, love. Have used these. Love them so much. This little baby right here, we're going to use that label. And then we are also using our something fancy dies for the inside of the card. We're going to use this larger label that's going to go right there. Okay. All right. So we've got those. All right. Let me grab my die cutting machine. I should be using the mini. Ooh, I should. All right. I'm going to have to like make a note. Use your mini machine next time. Can't fit quite as many things on it. That's probably why I don't think to do it because like this way I can fit both of these on and I bet I could probably only do one. But it's still super handy if you, especially if you're like on the go or something, you just want to have a little, a little guy to take along with you. And the blue, the boho blue, so cool. It's actually kind of a deeper, a, a deeper, darker blue than I thought it was going to be based on the pictures that we had seen, um, but it's beautiful. I was just expecting it to be a little bit lighter color, um, but we actually got to see one. So Beth, one of our Inkspired Stampers team members, actually bought that little boho blue mini machine and brought it to our team meeting. Oh yes, Deb, love that scallop. I know, I know. Oh, Robin, perfect, listening while you work. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so ladies, here we go. We have our ink pads, what are we gonna do? Let's see, first we are gonna stamp, and I'm actually going to grab, do I have my little, yeah, I'm gonna stamp off here a little bit. So let's see, scoot those up there. I'm gonna put this, you guys can still see what's going on, right? Okay, so we're gonna put that on there. We are going to do, so this was uh, Pale Papaya. We're gonna start with our Pale Papaya ink. And we are gonna stamp our carrots. I'm trying to make sure I have enough room at the top. You can see, I wanna make sure that you guys will be able to see kind of all of that detail. But I know I did stamp my carrots first. So I'm gonna kind of try to eyeball. Mm, I think that's gonna be good. And you know what? If you don't see quite as much, that's gonna be okay. So we're gonna just stamp this three times, just like that. And that's okay, that didn't come out perfect, but we're actually going to kind of cover it up. I think I can close this one up now. So pale papaya is what we started with. Now we're gonna use Calypso Coral, and we're gonna add a little ridgy detail, and I'm gonna put my glasses on. Let me do that real quick. Okay, I think it was easiest if I turned it sideways here. And again, if it's not lined up perfectly, it's okay. I'm just kind of eyeballing. I, I do have to say, I used to be a lot more anal, and I used what we called the stamp a jig before we had the Stamparatus. I would use that to try to get everything all lined up perfectly, but I've, I guess I've kind of gotten over that a little bit. <laughs> okay, while I have, I'm gonna do the thanks a bunch next. So we're gonna do this nice, easy tap, tap, tap. This is very kind of thin writing, so you don't want to press super hard because then you get ink inside of places you don't want it. So we've got our thanks and a bunch. And then let's, because then I can close up. We're going to do these teeny tiny little baby carrots. You guys can see, right? Yes. Okay. I love that there's something about those little carrots. I think it's so cute. Okay. So we're good with that one, both of those colors. Now we're going to come back and add to the top. Oh my gosh, 
Isn't that just so cute? Why, why, why do I think the little bunch of carrots is so cute? But I do. I, I don't know. There's just something. They just do it for me somehow. I don't know. Okay. So now with our pear pizzazz ink, we are going to stamp off. And I'm going to stamp once. And I'm going to stamp again. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp once. And I'm going to stamp again. And then one more stamp off. And one more time. Then um let's see this little guy right here and i actually i don't do masking too much but i decided because this stem is so long and i really wanted you to be able to see the detail on here so i stamped this and i just kind of cut out the top edge so i can lay this over here so that those little things don't stamp all the way down on you know when i go to stamp does that make sense so i don't stamp on there i kind of stamp on my little mask I kind of liked that better. So we'll do one more there. And maybe we'll do one more kind of off the edge of this one. So kind of a handy little idea, right? So then that little stem all stamps on my little um, mask instead of on here. So simple, simple masking. Just stamp your image. I just had to fussy cut around there and then just lay it right on there and stamp. So very, very easy. Okay, so I think we are done with our stamping. So you can see why I wanted to um, stamp on here after I die cut because I think I would have been maybe spreading them out like not fitting them all on there like I needed to if I stamped first and then tried to die cut backwards from what I usually do though I will say that okay so I think we're good let's actually I know I use a couple of things on the next card so I'm trying to remember which ones I'm just going to clean them all so I don't accidentally get the wrong color on my stamp the next time okay we're gonna do one more so love this chamois and you know what even when it gets hard around the edges it's still wet in the middle <laughs> it's funny because at my classes that really bothers people and I'm like well it's still wet in the middle but yeah it's just one of those I don't get to um wet them as much as I as I should I think so yeah try to help people out when they notice that okay that needs to be uh, a little more wet, Amy. <laughs> I'm like, it's fine in the middle though. Okay, so here we go. We are going to kind of put things together. So let's see. So there is some of the favored flowers designer series paper, right? So lots of detail and then love that simple background on there too, right? Okay, so oops, here we go. So when that happens, if you don't feel it, if you go to run it and nothing happens, just use your finger to advance it forward. Don't just try to press and keep making it happen because it won't. You have to advance it forward with your finger. Okay, you'll break it if you keep pressing really hard. You just kind of break the full strip there. Okay, so here's our card base. We only want to put adhesive, and I actually am going to put it right on here. Trying not to get too close to the edge though. Okay, so we'll go like there and there and maybe there and there, okay? And we're gonna just lay this right on here as if it were going right on our card base. And if you have any adhesive kind of sticking out around the edges, which actually I don't. The last time I did that, I think I went a little too, a little too far outside, but you could just rub your finger and take that off if you had extra adhesive. Okay, so next we're gonna layer on this little piece of designer series paper. So you can see again, I'm using the back side of all of the floral patterns. Lots of great, good neutral patterns on there too, right? Okay, now we're going to put some dimensionals. That first one is always hard to get going. Once you have somewhere to put your fingernail, it's easier. And actually we'll put some dimensionals on the back of that one too, okay? So we're gonna just peel these backs off, okay? And we are gonna put that little guy right on there. Okay, next we're gonna, let's go do the inside of our card, right? Okay, so we've got our white piece that's gonna go on the inside and we're gonna just lay this right inside there, my standard layering the four by five and a quarter. Again, here's that pretty pattern and the more bold floral pattern on the other side. Okay, 
we're gonna put that maybe right about there. Okay, now we're gonna grab our sentiment. We're gonna just layer that right on there. Now we're gonna come back and of course, add a little texture and bling. So we have, this was that three twine combo pack. Um, it actually might even be pumpkin pie. Maybe it's pumpkin pie, because it actually doesn't, it doesn't look like Calypso Coral, but it works just fine in here. This is gonna be Coastal Cabana and Garden Green. Okay, so we are going to just kind of tie our little bow right here with our twine. This has a lot of texture to it. It's almost like a little woven or something, um, like a basket weave texture to it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not the standard. Like it's kind of, I don't know, threaded, twirled around itself. <laughs> you know, very technical terms. Um, but we are going to just use, oops, there's a little glue dot right there. So these are the ones that are backwards. So they're all on the, instead of being on this roll, they're like on there. <laughs> so I'm getting used to it, okay? Just in time to like run out and um, not have those anymore, probably. The one crazy pack, okay. Next, -hoo -hoo. oh yes. Love these things, have used them. These are my free embellishment for um, December. Calypso Coral, I had to write this on here, Balmy Blue and Gold in the Iridescent Pastel Gems. Calypso Coral, Balmy Blue and Gold. It's funny how we're like, gold? I don't think that looks like gold, but they are more gold than um, the Iridescent Pastel Gems. They're definitely, they're just, they're beautiful, honestly. So I used one big one. Oops, we're gonna just flip that up. We're gonna put one big one right there, okay? And then I used a couple of the little Calypso Coral. I put one there, one little and one big and one there, right? And there we go. <laughs> I know, Deb, I love those gems too. So there is our first card, right? With our little carrots and our thanks a bunch. So cute, so, so cute, right? Okay, so there we go. Card number one. Next, let's see, we're gonna just scoot that one right over there. I know I need some of these stamps and some of the ink. I'm trying to, I guess we'll just have to check this out and see. Okay, so let me show you first of all, this is a swap card that Sharon Greening made at our team meeting the other day. And I loved kind of having this little, that little flip open there. It's your time to remember to feel appreciated and to know you're celebrated, right? With this, this is one of, this is the thistle stamp set. So that actually doesn't lift up, right? But then, so you've got that, you've got that, and then that flips open there. And the cool thing is that she layered the designer series paper so you could see the front and the back of it on the card. So isn't that cool? So I, again, kind of, I did modify it a little bit, but I used the general layout of that card to make this card for you all. So we got the cute little carrots again with the love you a bunch. And then there's no one quite like you. So cute, huh? But I just, I love that little flip. It's almost like a little interactive kind of thing. And I don't know if you can see the little sparkle there. I did put Wink of Stella on my carrots because I wanted them to sparkle a little bit and then use some more of those gems too. And again, there we go. Okay, so let me show you how we're gonna make this card. Um, so with that being said, I need the Calypso Coral. I think that's the only color that I need. Let's scoot those. And I need that stamp. And I need that little guy. And then on the inside, oh yeah, we use those little carrots, that and that. And then that one also. So love you a bunch. And there's no one. Okay, good. So I don't think I need any of these. Wait, where's my a bunch? There we go, we do need that one. There, I knew I had duplicated some things, so I was trying to help myself out and do that now instead of later. Okay, so here we go with our dimensions. Okay, this time, let's scoot those, those up there. Okay, we have a thick hello, Miss Amy. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Sharon. I just love that little flippy dippy card. <laughs> I love the layout. I love different layouts. And you're such a good um, user of Facebook, I'm sorry, Pinterest and YouTube with your research on those uh, channels that I love to be able to 
take the ideas that you've given us and kind of run with them on Facebook Live. Okay, so thick white cardstock. Uh, this is eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half at five and a half inches, right? And then we scored it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches for our fold, just kind of our general standard fold on our card. Next, I used a piece again of the Favored Flowers Designer Series paper, four by five and a quarter. That's gonna layer right on there, okay? And then we also have another strip that goes right along the top that is one by five and a quarter. That's gonna go right there. Then we have these pieces of cardstock. So this one is Calypso Coral right there that measures two and seven eighths by three, okay? And then we have two pieces of basic white cardstock that measure two and three quarters by three and one quarter, and we score it at, um, let, me, let me look at that. That is one quarter, yes. I'm, I'm like questioning now, yes. So two and three quarters by three and one quarter, and we scored it at two and three quarters. So then these are gonna layer right on, is that how it's, nope, it's gonna go this way. There we go. Somehow that wasn't working, right? Okay, there we go. So then that's gonna layer right on there and that's gonna layer right on there and we'll be able to flip those up, okay? And then on the inside, we have one more piece of designer series paper. This one measures one by five and a half and then there's the back side of that one right there. Okay, so we actually don't even have any die cutting to do on this card. It's really all about the stamp set and the designer series paper. Okay, so let's actually do our stamping first. We've got both of these right here. Okay, so we're gonna take this little guy and we are gonna use, here's our Calypso Coral ink. We're gonna stamp our little carrots. Okay, so I've got mm, one, and I think I, I originally actually did like three carrots like this. And I decided, oh, I don't think I like that. So then I went back and I added a couple more carrots down there a little bit lower, okay? And we'll come, actually, we can do this part on the inside too, right? We're gonna do love you a bunch and then we'll do those little baby carrots. So here's the love you. And this is Blackberry Bliss ink, matches our Blackberry Bliss cardstock. Okay, there's our love you. Mm. Let's try that again. Let me see. There we go. We're gonna flip that baby over because this actually really doesn't even have to be scored because this one we are not, there we go. We're not flipping. You could, on Sharon's, hers wasn't adhered down, but I needed mine to be adhered down. Somehow that bothered me. And then um, also I needed to Oops, that's the wrong one, but that's okay. I wanted to use the little baby bunch, but I didn't, but that's all right. So we are going to, you can see on this one, I used the little baby bunch, but on this one, we're using the bigger, but I think this, there's something about that little stamp. Just so cute. I wonder if we should put, let's do one. I feel like I need one more carrot. When you say a bunch, like one isn't a bunch. Two could be a bunch, right? There we go. That's fine, right? Okay, so a little bit different on the inside. We've got that one right there, and we've got that one right there. Now we're gonna come back. So Calypso Coral, Blackberry Bliss, and this is Granny Apple Green ink. Now we are going to just stamp, and these don't really matter. I am going to put that right there though. So if I go off the edge at the top, that's gonna be okay. Oh, I did stamp off, okay. I was like, wait a minute, I don't see how I'm gonna be able to get the detail there, right? So there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so they all look a little bit different. Now we're gonna come back with this detail on our leaves. This one you might not see, eh, you can still kind of see it. That's why I stamp off though, so you can see a little bit better on there, right? And one more, there we go, okay. All right, I think we've got 
all of that, right? Okay, so now we can start putting this project together. Okay, mm -mm -mm. we're gonna just put that right there. So I've got all my parts and pieces. Okay, so let's see. We are gonna do that, not yet. Okay, we're gonna put our designer series paper on here. Again, the beautiful flowers on one side and then the pretty kind of geometric patterns, I guess I'd say, on the other, oops. So you guys see that if you don't press hard, it felt like it was a little bit off kilter. So I'm gonna fix that. So just when you put this down, just press lightly, do a little double check, make sure you like it, and then you can press firmly. Okay, so now we are going to add, and I wanna make sure this is going the right way, yeah. So we've got about this, we've got kind of, um, what, a quarter of an inch, uh, is that right? An eighth of an inch around all four sides, and then that score mark is gonna fit right across the top there, okay. So I just wanted to make sure I was putting it on the right way. Right, hold on, as I'm flipping it around in my hand, yep. Okay, so that should be good. So we are gonna layer this right about there, is that right? Then we're gonna put that on there and we're gonna do a little spot check. That actually I think needs to go down. Just It's almost like I need to have my designer series paper kind of laying over top. Oops, that's the wrong, this one goes right there, right? Okay, so as long as my score mark lines up right underneath the DSP, that is gonna be okay. Okay, I think I wanna bring it down just a touch more. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna add this one on this piece right there. Okay, and then we're gonna add this guy. Just this strip right here is all we're gonna adhere so that will flip up for us. Okay, so we're gonna just run our adhesive along there. And I guess that's why you really do want that um, scored on that one also, so you can use it to kind of line things up to make sure it's gonna be all right when you, I keep grabbing the wrong one, but when you put your designer series paper on there. Okay, so that's gonna go like that, right? We're gonna press very firmly, and then we're gonna layer that right across the top. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? That beautiful floral, love. But I love this, um, this would be another great one for a masculine card too. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna layer that right across the top. On the inside, we're gonna actually come back in and we're gonna stamp in our Blackberry Bliss ink, because then it will coordinate with the designer series paper. Okay, we're gonna stamp that one. Got one shot. Okay, shoo! I love the crisp font of that um, stamp, too. I think that is just, it's like perfect. Okay, oops. We're gonna add some more adhesive on this, and we're gonna run this right along that little strip, so we got a little decoration there. Okay, so now I'm like, okay, we need some more texture on this card, right? So I grabbed some ribbon that would just kind of complement our card without kind of detracting from the fun we were already having with it. Okay, so this is the white crinkled seam binding ribbon. We're just gonna tie a bow around the top of the card, and I did that all the way around. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna try that again. I should probably just move the bolt of ribbon. It's like on the wrong side for me. So this ribbon, it's like it's so flimsy. Sometimes you're like, where's the piece I'm trying to work with? Wow, okay, let's. that's what the problem is. We're gonna move that over there. It's like getting in the way. Okay, here we go, ladies. I know I can make this bow. I keep losing the little hole that I'm trying to <laughs> put the loop through. There we go, okay. Shoo. Now that's ugly, right? But we can kind of pull and twist and play with it until we get it where we want it. That's the beauty of the ribbon too, right? Is Especially this one, it's very easy to manipulate it, right? Okay. And it's not supposed to be perfect either. This bow is, especially with this ribbon, right? 
There we go. It, want, it keeps wanting to roll up. I think I flipped it around too many times. I'll probably fix that after we're done with Facebook Live. Okay, so let's come back. And then I just, ooh, okay, hold on. Had to have a little sparkle. So we're going to add our little dots. So um, again, these are called the iridescent pastel gems. I put one there, I did one there, and I did one on the inside. And we're gonna just flip that up. There we go, right? Okay, we got the love you a bunch. Last step is to add a little bit of Wink Stella. And I, this is, instead of like shaking it, I kind of roll it in my hand. Make sure we're good. I'm gonna actually turn it upside down so it's ready to go. And we're just gonna kind of gently squeeze and paint. You don't wanna squeeze too hard. This one actually might be about out. I'm getting just a little bit. If you squeeze really hard, you get a big glob and you definitely don't want that either. So we're just adding a little bit. It's gonna be harder. You'll be able to see it a little bit easier um, on the one that's dried. Just get a little bit of sparkle. Let's see, can you guys see that? See the little bit of sparkle on there? It's almost like I think you can see this one a little bit better when it's dried, right? Get that little sparkle there. All right, so that is it, ladies. We've got those two fun projects, again, featuring the Thanks a Bunch stamp set and the Favored Flowers Designer Series paper. Okay, so, all right, we got a big craft O, well, craft mania whatever it is, craft or math, that's what the word is. <laughs> Going to take a moment here to get things cleaned up. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed these projects. Again, featuring the Thanks a Bunch stamp set, the super cute uh, celebration stamp set for you with a $50 order, and the Favored Flowers designer series paper, another free with a $50 order during celebration, right? Awesome. And what's great is if you pair um, like those two together. See, doesn't that look beautiful when you do those? kind of a bold geometric and a floral pattern at the same time. Okay, so place an order through me of at least $50 using this host code. Get one of each of these projects from me. Get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or a free embellishment. And your name is in the drawing to win the super duper cute, this best day stamp set. Plus, if you bump your order up to over $100, you get five more handmade cards for me as a thank you from me. So thank you. Thanks for hanging out, everybody joining me today. I truly appreciate it. And we'll see you next week. No, two weeks from today on our next Facebook Live. I believe it's February 3rd. Oh my goodness, January will be done. We'll be getting closer to spring then too, right? So that's awesome. All right. Bye, ladies. Thank you. Have a great weekend.